The liberal media is never going to speak another word about Jesse Smollett ever again after last night's guilty verdict, but we can't let them move on so quickly, especially after they helped perpetuate the biggest hate crime hoax in a generation since the Tawana Brawley hoax back in 1987 where Al Sharpton made his bones. This almost didn't even happen because the George Soros puppet district attorney in Chicago, Kim Fox, initially dropped the charges against Smollett. And then it was only after the massive outrage that a special prosecutor was surprisingly appointed. Since the Democrats in DC never miss an opportunity to spread fake news, everyone from Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to Rashida Tlaib, Eric Swalwell, Cord Booker, Bernie Sanders, and the rest all denounced this horrible racist hate crime against Jussie. Uh, Chef, candidates here are being confronted with questions about whether or not they were too quick to condemn the attackers in the Jussie Smollett case, including Senator Kamala Harris who needed a minute to think about whether or not she stood by her previous comment that the attack was an attempted modern day lynching. Which tweet? What tweet? Uh, the, about uh, saying that it is a modern day lynching that, um, uh, sorry. <laughs> yes. Jesse Smollett. Um, I, I, okay, so I will say this about that case. I think that the facts are still unfolding and um, I'm very um. Of course, the servants of Satan in Hollywood amplified the idiocy. Everyone from Ariana Grande and Zendaya to John Legend tweeted about this imaginary hate crime. I guess it's not imaginary in a sense because Jussie clearly hates Trump supporters and white people, but you get my point. Even after it was an obvious hoax though, when the Nigerian brothers admitted what they had done, people were still blaming Donald Trump. Look, I've always said from day one, this is a Trump-free zone, the city of Chicago, and I mean it. Let me be really clear about something. The only reason Jesse Smollett thought he could take advantage of a hoax about a hate crime is for the environment, the toxic environment that Donald Trump created. He's created a toxic environment, and now he's created a toxic, vicious cycle, in my view. The only reason Jesse Smollett thought he could get away with this hoax about a hate crime is because of the environment President Trump created. Most people knew that it was a hoax the moment they had heard the ridiculous story, and when Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal are mocking you for an entire segment, then you know that your case is in trouble. You cannot, if you're gonna break the law, do not write a check. Because you're writing a check that what? You uh, behind can't cash. <laughs> Yo, man, you can not cash up. up. <laughs> hey, get cash, man. Jussie's lawyer did her best, and when you have no soul, and someone's paying you to defend the indefensible, you gotta get creative. According to the court records, he, Smollett, was very clear with police on the night of the attack that his attackers were white. He said they had masks on and gloves, but he saw their eyes and he saw the skin surrounding their eyes. He, from what he saw, he thought it was pale skin or uh, white or pale skin. While, you know, I mean, I think there's, obviously you can disguise that, you could put makeup on. You know, I was looking up the brothers and one of the first videos that showed up actually was one of the brothers in white face doing a Joker monologue with white makeup on. And so it's not, it's not implausible. <laughs> not only did they attack him wearing MAGA hats, but they also put on white face. With all the evidence against him, his legal team knew that he would never be found not guilty. Their entire strategy was hoping that there would be a black supremacist or a hyper ethnocentric black person on the jury who would then hang it and then they hoped that the DA wouldn't file charges again so he could walk away and claim victory. The funniest part of this whole story, aside from him trying this in Chicago, during the polar vortex, remember that story? It was like negative 10 degrees below zero, was that he left the noose on his neck so that when the police came over, they could see it. If something even remotely like this happened, the first thing that they would do once they escaped would be to take the noose off and just throw it on the side of the road as they ran away. And while virtually everyone who once supported him has quietly bowed their head in shame and is remaining silent about this, there is one organization, however, which still supports him. The official blue check verified Black Lives Matter Twitter account issued a statement declaring that they still stand by Jussie and that the police are lying. The Justice Department in this country is so corrupt that I doubt he'll even go to jail. He'll probably be given a six month suspended sentence and then walk free and given a fine and then he'll appear on Dancing with the Stars next season. I'm only half joking actually because Lori Laughlin's daughter who played Aunt Becky on Full House, she was arrested for scamming UCLA to get her daughters in with that whole college admission scandal. And so her daughter who was one of the scam artists, Olivia Jade, did appear on Dancing with the Stars. Only in Sodom and Gomorrah would a major television network, ABC, reward a scam artist who committed fraud to get into UCLA, 
by featuring her on a primetime television show as family entertainment. Meanwhile, Kyle Rittenhouse has basically been banned from playing video games. Electronic Arts forbids users from creating characters using the name Kyle Rittenhouse. Actually, I almost forgot there is someone else on planet Earth other than the person who runs the Black Lives Matter Twitter account who isn't sure that Jussie Smollett faked this whole thing because, well, they're confused about a lot of things. It's been very confusing, as Ryan was saying. Uh, people don't know what to believe. We may never really know what happened on the street that night in Chicago. <laughs> we may never know what happened. It's going to be another one of those unsolved mysteries. You may be able to help solve a mystery. I do want to thank Justy though because he was the inspiration for my MAGA Country shirt. And for you slackers out there, by the way, there still is time for you to order your Let's Go Brandon shirts, your F Joe Biden shirt, Wanna Buy a Vowel, your Rest Dr. Fauci shirt, or any of my awesome designs, and still get them in time for Christmas. You just have to use Rush Shipping, which is an extra $6. But how's this? This weekend, I'll give you a promo code for 20% off of anything from the store, which will pretty much offset that. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below, enter the promo code SLACKER at the checkout to save 20% and check them out!